Okay, here we're demonstrating the uh, the brand new uh, sequencer, and this is a universal sequencer. This sequencer doesn't use a remote at all. What it uses is uh, any voltage between 6 volts and 30 volts to uh, trigger this mechanism to fire off in sequence. Now it has three different programs. It has fire all, it has same time sequence, or variable time sequence, just like the 20Q system. Now the uh, LEDs here, I already put them in the queues just to simulate, um, you know, a queue going off or a igniter going off or whatever. To start with, the power switch is here. Your input from your firing system that has 6 volts to, to uh, 30 volts goes in here. And this one right here you can use to hook up an additional system or hook this up to another uh, 18Q system which has an input trigger also. And then when this one, the last Q fires off, it signals output from these poles to your new firing system. So you can use this to go ahead and uh, ramp up your firing system. Now, to start with, it's, right now it's currently programmed to all. Let me just show you again how to go ahead and set this for a different time sequence. You're going to see SA0000. You're going to move the arrow over once so the zero is flashing. Then you're going to hit TM. Number 1, 0.00 indicates. 01 stands for Q1. Okay, we're going to go ahead and set that for one second. Next Q will set for uh, 0 0.05 seconds. Next Q back to uh, one second. Uh, next Q will be 0.5 seconds. And then the rest will just be one second just to speed this along a little. Okay, now you're going to see that it's, it's set. D1 standing for uh, delay. They're all the same. Uh, I, I, excuse me, they're all variable and you are ready to go. The next step will be to go ahead and get your firing system that you're going to use and hook it up to here. I'll get a voltmeter, hook it up to here so you can see when the uh, volts um, are released during the output. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fire this off. It's in all mode. Voltage is going to go from the output of this terminal to the input of the sequencer. Sequencer is then going to go into its program mode firing off each of these cues. I've simulated the igniters using the LEDs. When Q10 fires, it will send a signal to the output of this unit and to the input of the voltmeter and you'll see the uh, the needle spike showing the uh, what the trigger would be if you were going to connect this up with another sequencer like this or into another 18Q system that has the uh, input out uh, trigger mechanism. This unit right here can be hooked up in series infinite amount of times with similar systems. System, This system is armed, ready to go, firing all three, two, one, firing. System is activated, it's going through. and you saw the needle jump. So this is the system. We've tested it out quite uh, quite a bit in the last few days. I really haven't found any faults with it. We've tried to uh, burn this thing up. We've tried to, uh, you know, kick this thing around and it's just, just held its own. It was capable of firing both our Easy Light igniters, the Predator igniters, through the uh, uh, core igniters and uh, regular e-matches and uh, it's a pretty cool system especially that you can go ahead and combine this with your regular firing system to give you different effects like the fan effects uh, you know you can chain like your cakes together it probably come in you know real helpful during some of your finales or your pre finales so it's one extra little tool that you can put together and uh, it's priced relatively cheap so as a matter of fact, uh, our company's purchased quite a few for our own displays we put on. 
And uh, of course, you can take a look at this at mortartubes.net for full pricing and uh, warranty information. Thank you very much.